Dad, I got an SOS from the maidens and guards that you've not been out of this room since morning. Why? It's been four years today, son. Four years after what? I don't understand. Four years after your mother's death. Relieving the old wound seems like yesterday. Oh, sad memories. Dad, I can't console you enough for her loss because I know that you loved her dearly. I loved her too. I miss her every day. Today seems to open the old wounds are fresh. And I'm not just happy with myself. But it wasn't your fault. She fought that disease till her last breath. All we need to do now is to honor her memory by honoring her wish of bringing peace to our people and to the palace. Is that her only wish? Son? Why are you skipping the part? Where she pleaded with you to be with a Tracy, that it will make her happy. I guess she wasn't thinking straight when she said that. She was about dying. She was high on adrenaline. No, son. If you loved your mother, like you said, then you owe it to her to abide by her death wish and be with Tracy. Accommodate her in your life. That's your mother's wish. It's all right. I understand. I mean, I shouldn't have left without telling you. But then, darling, <clears throat> you will have to make it up to me, won't you? Oh, thanks, darling. <laughs> darling, you have to take me to the clubhouse. I mean, it's been long. I had mad. Oh no, yes, I went to the club last Friday. Sweetie, you needed to have been there. It was fun, fun, fun. <laughs> so we're going to the club, right? <laughs> I don't really think my father will appreciate me staying out late. What? Darling, are you kidding me? At your age? Well. We are going right away to tell your father that we're clubbing tonight. 
Darling, we are adults. So we're going to club, right? Right. Oh, darling, my pretty little thing. <laughs> you don't want to see me in club dancing, darling. Trust me, you will lose it. <laughs> I am a killer at dancing. Seriously. You want to see me move? Right away, darling. <laughs> Well, I need to leave. You want to sing for me? On a second thought, I think I should see this for the club. I'm sure you don't want to see me dance now. <laughs> but we should wait until we get to the club. <laughs> <laughs> Last night was epic. 
take my goodness out. My goodness out. Oh, no. Dan, we could do it again, you know. to learn how to talk to this girl and politely too. She loves you and each time you shout on her she runs to me crying. I don't like it. How can I return to my house to see her audience lying on the floor and expect me to be happy with her? And Adamaidi is not supposed to pick up whatever I left on the floor. What's up with lazy girl? Hmm. Um, Tracy. Father. Back to the room. Go on. Son. She's right. You are royalty and you're not expected to do anything with your hand in this palace. Then why should I feed myself? The guards and the maids should have been the one feeding me. I can't believe we're still having this conversation, Dad. This has been settled long time ago. And please, let's not revisit it. Hey, listen son, I expect you as a gentleman to go and apologize to her. Yes. Okay. 
Because this is where I belong. Look, it's about to rain. You should be hurrying home. It's like you don't understand. I'm home already. You should be the one hurrying home. You mean you live in this forest? I dwell in this forest, as designed by fate. But it can be. It's very dangerous. You could be devoured by wild animals, or gang raped by scallywags. I'm not scared of anything. I'm one with death. This life of mine has already fleeted. Whatever you're seeing right now is nothing but a figment. You don't belong here. The gods have decided, and there's nothing I can do about it. My prince, just go and allow me to dwell in my lonely world. This whole thing is confusing. Please, can you kindly explain these things to me, the way I will understand them?
Obina! 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 So you have killed them? Huh? Are you okay now? You have killed them? Are you okay? I'm going. If 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 going, I'm going. This is what you have been planning for. Are you not the one that cooked the meal? I'm going to do the job. I'm going to do the job. Hey! Uncle, what did you say that I killed? I'm going to do the job. Uncle, you did not just say that. Okay, you didn't just say that. That is not the best one to say to me in this situation. How can you insinuate that I killed my own family? Oh, one of them way. And maybe we enter him again. And maybe we enter him again. You killed my brother. You killed my brother. Uncle, you didn't put it here. What are you talking about? The good ones you are caught up. Who cooked this meal? Who cooked it? Tell me. Shimo. Who cooked it? If we're going in, then. Nero de Cotta Banana. Uncle, 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 Hi! Baby, no one permanently has Oh, I'm going to be
dad did you banish anybody from this kingdom before my return banish yes none that i can remember but why do you ask wanted to know whether you're still into the orthodox leadership style of banishing people because that's archaic You know, you know, moreover, it's a breach of their fundamental human right of association and movement. And I say, you know, it's not possible <laughs> in this modern time. Well, I, as a matter of fact, I, I still do. Mm -hmm. Yes. If anyone commits evil in this land, I do not hesitate to. That girl Tracy came to me to complain about you, son. Edges on that go. What's wrong with you? I can't do for a little while. Cast a blind eye to that girl's fault. Don't have flaws. And begin to see her as that woman, your late mother approved. Your late mother wished you to marry. I can see she's always the first to run to you whenever she messes up. But you have to stop listening to her. She's a woman with feelings, and no woman that easy. Stop tormenting her. Learn to live there. Dad, now tell me the truth. If you were in my shoes, would you marry a woman who cannot wash her undies, let alone sweep the house? A woman I practically forced to brush her teeth. A woman that thinks nothing other than joints and clubhouses. What kind of future can I build with such a girl?
There is absolutely nothing I am doing here. I mean, the man I was looking forward to becoming my husband is no longer interested in me. No, no, no. Don't say that. My son is still interested in you. No, no. Father, that's not true. Newsflash. Do you know since your son got back, he hasn't touched me? Father, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Seriously, I'm sick and tired of this whole bullshit. I want to go back to my parents. Okay, Father, but one last shot, one last shot. I mean, he complains about virtually everything. Tracy does this, Tracy does that, she smokes, she drinks, I leave my things on the floor. Father, I am tired. Tell him to let me live my life, at least I don't complain about his. After all, he is not married to me yet. Excuse me, Father. Okay, shush. Move, Phallus poppies. Who's there? Come in. Um, my prince, the king requests to see you. But you said you are scared of nothing. Yes. Um, four men passed here now, and I guess they are hunters. I wonder what they are doing around here. No one else is expected to be here except me. This oh. is my world. Come on, they are just here to hunt, like me. The only difference is that I'm here now to see you, not wild animals. Please, can you stop coming to this place? You're endangering your life and it's no good. This place is not safe for someone like you. The problem is that I just can't stop hearing your voice 
singing in my head. Please, can you sing that song again for me? Please, I beg of you. I wouldn't want to do that in my prince. You look troubled, my prince. What is troubling you? You're not alone in a world of sadness. I share the same world. I'm a sad prince. God forbid. I'm so sorry about that, my prince. This is ridiculous. You have everything. You're from a wealthy home. You're not supposed to be sad like us. You've not heard about the phrase, the rich also cry. There's something that brings tears to my eyes. I'm not happy. I'm sorry. Can you please share it with me? I thought she was going to make me happy. All she does is bring sadness to my heart. I've been patient with her for a long time, but she has remained incorrigible. You are talking about a woman, if I got you right. Please, sing that song for me. We will discuss about this later. Your song is like a healing to my soul. So it's a bag of you. I beg of you, my dear. Um, Akudo is my name. Akudo. Akudo, yes. I'm sorry I forgot. But please, can I hear that? Whoa. 
attention. I'm listening. Pressing the phone while listening to me is an act of disrespect. Excuse me. My ears are not stopped. I can hear you very well. Just go on with what you have to say. You know what? Forget it. Did you try talking to her like I suggested? Yes, I did. But she wasn't listening to me. She was busy pressing her phone while I was talking. Imagine the disrespect. I'm so sorry about that. But like I told you before, you have to be patient with her. That's the only way she can change. But you know, I'm impatient with a lady with such character. I'm sorry, but you have to develop the threat. Everyone can get married, but very few can stay married. You have to learn how to tolerate, forgive, endure. In that way, you will have a very peaceful home. I understand. You have to do this again, please. But this time around, you have to ignore the phone and focus on the message. Gradually, she will change, I'm sure. But you have to be patient with her. That's the only way she can change. Maybe I should be paying for this wise girl, <laughs> I can assume we are friends now, even though I'm not comfortable with that. I can't ask you to pay for your friendly advice. It's not wise. Where's my son? Your Highness, he went hunting. He orders us out to food. From today, you must detail one of them to follow him secretly wherever he's going. On no account is said to leave this palace unaccompanied, unchaperoned, at least unobserved. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Highness. Father. Father, have you got to me try and sing my baby? I was actually asking them about you. Are you two idiots? 
watching me while I'm talking to my father. Now, shush away. Run along, I mean, run.
kai pu papa biko no rap no ma kan na mo kan cho te si bo la la ni na ya ge bi i'm not going to marry again i was in a by fast she they piss me off hey papa this is not the type of woman I want to marry you. I want to marry you. I'm not going to marry again. I was in a by fast road. She they piss me off. Oh, hey, Papa, this is not the type of woman. I want to marry you. I want to marry you. She's not my type. Oh. And she can never be my type, oh, Papa. Biko no rap no ma kan na mo kan cho te si bo la la ni na ya ge bi I'm not going to marry again I was in a by fast road she they piss me off oh hey, papa this is not the type of woman I want to marry you I want to marry you I'm not going to marry again I was in a by fast road she they piss me off oh hey, papa this is not the type of woman I want to marry you I want to marry you She's not my type bro. and she can never be my type of papa Biko no rap no ma kan na mo kan cho te si bo la la ni na ya ge bi I'm not going to marry again I was in a by fast road <laughs> Tracy, what's the meaning of this? Oh, baby, baby, you tell me. You know, you, you virtually know everything in this world. I mean, everything. You have both common and uncommon sense. And so you should know what the hell I am doing. Stop it. Come have some sleep, baby. Stop it! How dare you take cocaine in this palace? What kind of human being are you? I'm going to tell my father once he returns. And who the hell is your father? Jeez. Is he supposed to tell me how to live my life? Oh. No, baby. No. Oh. Hey, baby. I know. I know. I know. I know you are definitely seeing another woman. That's why you had the effort to tell me. Tracy. I won't touch you until we are married. Who bloody cares? I'm here romancing my own baby. You're bad. Stop it! See where are you going? Back to my parents. Father, I can't continue selling myself cheap to your son. Never. I'm going back to my parents where I will be respected and valued as a woman. See, Tracy. Whatever my son did. anywhere around him. And seriously, Father, I get it. No hard feelings. Believe it, Father. See, see. Let me guards will go and fetch a gentleman. We now sit and discuss this. 
I need you to stay. Brother, you should be talking to your son, not me. I mean, I am ready to accept him as my man. But he has completely refused to accept me as his woman. Oh, whose fault? Not mine. Father, I have to return to my parents. When will God will force me to return to my room just because the prince ordered so? Father, I have to leave. I think so I could get hold of my sanity. Sorry, Father. Yes. You have to leave. I'm going nowhere. I'm staying here for the night. Don't tell me you are afraid to confront your fears. She's driving me insane. I just can't go back to that house today. I can't. There's no moment she doesn't piss me off. I'm sorry about that. But then... This is a forest. Look for somewhere else and sleep. This place is dangerous for a prince like you. But it's not dangerous for you, isn't it? I'm nobody. Then you're going to sleep with somebody today. Where are you going? Thanks for the meet. Good night. Another one. It's insanity! Complete madness! Letting my son leave this palace unaccompanied by even one guard! That is not acceptable to me! Not acceptable! Do you hear me? Is that understood? Yes, Better! What's that? He slipped out. What did you say? My son sneaked out. My son sneaked out. He sneaked out means he does not have any legs, so he's a baby. He sneaked out. He sneaked out, you say? I'm sorry, Iris. He, he left without anyone noticing, so I guess he's, he sneaked out. That's an insult. It's an insult! Saying that my son sneaked out. And you're repeating it. Now listen. Look at me, all of you. Look at my eyes. I want my son back. I want him back. You go out and you search for my son. You search for him. I don't care how you do it. But you search for my son and you bring him back. You bring him back. Listen, I give you till tomorrow morning. My son must be returned here. 
by tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning, do I make myself clear? Yes, do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Better. Starry eyes. Look at the eyes. I wonder the kind of bunch of helps I have here. If I don't get him, and you, all of you, all of you, and even your generations will suffer for it. You will suffer for this incompetence. Is that clear? Yes, yes. Peter. I can't believe that boy treated you this way. But I want you. I want you. That that boy has not changed. But he will not believe. That boy does not deserve you. Because he does not know how to take care of you. First thing in the morning, tomorrow, I will go to the father's house to warn him. No, no father, please, stay out of this. I already told you the reason, I am back. So you see nothing in what he has done to you. No shame at all. That boy insulted me by treating you that way. And I am not going to take it. Does he know how many men that are lined up asking for your hand in marriage? Does he? Well, I will not take this. Well, Father, if you still want me as your daughter, stay out of this and allow me fix this. Yes, I know I want the prince. But Father, I need to give him some space. And I also need time to also think about this whole thing. Father, I am old enough to make decisions for myself. There she goes. Oh, please excuse me. There she goes again. Fix it. That was what you said the last time. Fix it. You had the guts to leave the palace without informing anybody of your whereabouts. Yes, I guess I have allowed you too much freedom. That's it. No, I don't get it. That I don't have the right to go wherever I wish. You have no right to sleep outside this palace without telling me. That's what it is. You got me worried. Now did you notice that Tracy is gone? Oh, thank God. What did you just say? What else do you expect of a man whose parents are forced into marry a sick junkie? The finally left the house. It calls for celebration now. If you don't mind. Respect for your late mother. That's what it is. You're happy. 
happy to disobey your late mother's wish. Oh, I'm disappointed. Utterly disappointed. It is on us. I am. Dad, if you had revisited my last statement with a tooth comb, you would have spotted the word junkie. I caught the very woman that my late mother wished me to marry, taking cocaine in this palace. The future queen of this land, and you expect me to clap for her. Oh. Well, she said you ordered the guards to force her into the room. What else do you expect me to do? Allow the elders to come and see the disgrace that she is bringing to this palace? Please, Dad. Perhaps you should stop allowing sentiments to decloud your sense of reason. Please. She's not my type. I'm sorry if I'm disobeying my little I'm really sorry. Jezana, you will marry that girl or return back to the States. I'm not going to marry again. I was in a by She did piss me off. Hey, hey Papa, this is not this type of woman. I want to marry her. I want to marry her. She's not my type, bro. And she can never be my type, of Papa. Because no rap no my girl no more. Morning, Dad. Morning. <coughs> About what you said last night. <coughs> I'm ready to leave because I can't continue no. to yes, Get your travel documents ready. You are leaving by the weekend. Is that all you have to say? It is settled. Then you would never see me here again if I leave.
Akudo. 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 Why are you hiding? You look so scared. Greetings. Why? They attacked me. Who? Some men that look like hunters came to my tent last night and tried to open me. What? I told you here is dangerous. Akudo, please, let me get you out of this forest. No, thank you, my prince, but no, no. I'll be dead if the people of his other land see me outside here. I'm supposed to dwell and die here. I'm not supposed to live here for any reason. Please stop talking about death. I'm just glad you're all right. My prince, thank you so much for checking up on me. But you shouldn't have bothered yourself. And you don't look happy. I already told you I'm not a happy prince. But I told you to be happy. Please. Sadness won't change anything, rather it will worsen it. You should learn how to smile it off, no matter what the situation is. I'm sure everything is definitely going to be alright. I wish you know how that your son has been keeping me going I've had reasons to go insane, but that song helps keep my sanity in check. Thank you for introducing me to that song. It has a way of making you feel you should leave everything in the hands of God. I'm glad you love the song, my prince. But since you know the song this much, why then do you still get angry? I had an argument with my dad yesterday. But let's forget about him right now. I'm more concerned about your safety right now. I'm going to sleep over here tonight. If that's what it takes to protect you from those men. I have my gun with me, so there's no need. Please, my prince, please, do not sleep here again. You put me in trouble, please. I beg of you. You know you can't talk me out of this. You're going to show me around the forest. Let's get what we're going to do tonight. I'm just... My prince, let me lead the way. I am now making king of this forest. Be careful. Wow, he was, he was a sweet day around the forest. Beautiful bangles. My grandmother. Yes, on my 25th birthday. And I've kept them since then. She loved me so much. I felt her death more than my mother's. And you needed something to remind you of our faces. Exactly. Exactly. Why are you gazing at me? I don't understand. You are comfortable. No one is supposed to speak to me. Or even come close. But you do all that knowing for the world that I stay. Why? Honestly, I don't know why. 
But I will ask faith when I say. But what I do know is that it's not a mystery. Honestly, it's amazing. Because even when I'm not supposed to, I still feel comfortable. something to catch up with. I will join you people later. Hey, you're welcome, my dear. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, I'm still around. Yes, sir. Yes. No, no, please, please, please hang on. The doctor will soon be here. Hey! Who's killing the doctor? I don't think I can make it for another dialysis. No, not for you. No, you can. You can. Yes, you I can. can. Yes, I can. God will not allow this to happen. God will give you. Amen. It is all my son. There's something I want you to do for me. And consider it my dying wish. Stop saying this. You're not going to die, please. Please. To me, please. I made a promise to trust his mother before her death. You want to sit? Yes. Sit down. No, no, it's for you. Shift. Let me sit there. Yes. so I can leave.
God bless you. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Thank you. My family will be indebted to you. My happiness must be your happiness. And from now on, my only son, Echezoma, must marry your only daughter. If this would be the last thing, Echezoma, I will do it before I die. difficult it is for you.
Needs your attention. But I have God Almighty. This is destiny. If it will put a This is destiny. This is destiny. From another world. Another world. Did any of you tamper with my bike while I was away? in my room. Yes, my you want to tell me you didn't tamper with my traveling documents? No, I didn't my face. Wow, he said for me everything was okay. I knew about you come back from your husband's house. Where is my friends? The prince of Isana Kingdom. Uh -huh. I mean, he came back from the States and suddenly had a change of attitude towards me. He treats me like nobody. And can you imagine? He said he wasn't going to touch me on the excuse that I would have to get married first. I mean, who does that? Oh, that's not fair of him. Are you sure you've not been upsetting him? How? I mean, knowing that you know me, I live my life the way I am before him. Including smoking in his presence. Yes. yes. Well, although he doesn't like it, but that's not enough reason for him to be treating me the way he does. I mean, he, he doesn't see to my needs. All he does is practically shout at me. It's okay. Um, have you, have you been, you know, have you been having sex with him before he traveled? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that was before he traveled. And then he came back and suddenly had a change of attitude. Um, trust me. You see, for a guy to suddenly develop such attitude towards a lady, it simply means that it's this kind of attitude about the lady that he's finding it very difficult to accommodate. Like he's finding it difficult to accommodate you in his life. It might also mean that you are picking him off with a certain attitude that I don't know about. Yeah, something is seriously wrong somewhere. Or well, that he is seeing a happy I mean, come on, Linda, can you just leave this my lifestyle thing and tell me how to get my man back? I mean, I am losing him. Can you imagine? Since I left the palace, he hasn't bothered to call my phone or even check up on me. Trust me, I cannot advise you without making references to your lifestyle. Because that's the main thing that can make a man cheat on his wife. Yes. The only thing I can tell you right now is this. If you have any bad attitude that you're spitting that is not good, I mean, you have to drop it now. You better drop it now, now, please. I'm not going to marry again. I was in a bypass. She did piss me out. Hey, Papa. Dad. Dad, that's a problem. There's a problem, Dad. There's a problem. What is it? My traveling documents. 
I can't seem to find my traveling documents. And I've searched my room inside out and I found nothing. I've asked all the cats and maidens and none of them admitted to have taken my traveling documents. What's the meaning of this? Do you deny that? They know that place you keep your documents other than your room. I keep everything in my room and I'm surprised I didn't see my traveling documents. Well, to possess the set of documents, don't you believe me? All alone in this palace, go ahead. Go ahead! I was only doing your wish. Honestly, Mike, I'm tired of this life. <laughs> How can you say such, my prince? We have so much to live for. Now, what is it that I have to live for? My mother, while dying, betrothed me to a girl with queer character that I don't like. And my father is forcing me to marry this same girl or return back to London. He said I should leave the palace. He said that? He said so! And I am returning to London. You know what? When I get back to London, I will never come back to this place again. What is keeping me is just my documents that I can't find. They are missing. Once I get my hands on them, that's it. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, um... My prince, if I must tell you, you leaving and not coming is not the wise thing to do right now. No, but what else do you want me to do? I expected my father to be concerned with my happiness. But rather, he's more concerned with fulfilling my mother's dying wish, which is that I get married to a woman that I don't love. Well, it's a difficult situation. I feel your pain. Uh, like I said before, you leaving and not coming back is not the wise thing to do right now. Your, your father needs you, even despite the pride would not allow him to say it. He needs you, and you don't lose your father. Uh, don't you think it would be wise for you to get a wife right now and settle down? I would like to settle down, but it has to be with the right person. Oh yes, the lady that my father is recommending for me now is persona non grata. No go, no go area. You mean you don't have anybody right now that suits the kind of woman you want? She's not my type, bro. and she can never be my type, of Papa. Because no rap no man can more. So I decided to bring it back. You are a thief! Let's go to the door. Let's go to the door. Let's go to the door. Let's go to the door.
still alive. Your Highness, we caught out with the Prince Pango. I do not know where she stole it from. You evil child. How dare you show your stinking self around? And how did you come up with my son's bangle? Here, bring it! Your Highness, I'm sorry. I didn't steal it. I picked it on my way to the stream, so I decided to return it for him. I did not steal it, Your Highness. Please. Do you know you are an abomination? Do you? You do? Huh? The forest is where you belong. That's your place. And you remain there until you die. Forgive me, I will not come back to this place again. I will never step my foot into this palace, please. Oh, of course you will not. You will not. But for now, you will be punished. Look, take her to that place and give her a severe plugging. Go on! Yes, yes Your Highness. I must see the bad My grandmother gave me a lot of them. I'm sorry about this, okay? Um, can you go home? Yes, thank you. Okay, please, please, let me go and talk to my father. Eh? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Innocent girl like that? What's her crime? What has she done to deserve this? Murder. Now listen, it is enough. You were not in the community. You were not in this town when that girl was judged evil, banished from this land. She came back? Yes, with your bangle, which she picked up from. God knows where. Why didn't she remain in that forest where she belongs? She's getting what she deserved. I still don't know the wrong she did by returning my bangle. When have you become this cold-hearted and wicked? And since when did you develop such a sudden interest in a nobody? She's a human being. And no matter what, I hate unjust punishment. When are you leaving? 
sooner than you expect. Dad, I'll give way for you to do whatever pleases you in this palace. Don't worry. because of me. Let me help you. Let me help you. I don't care what the people of Izada will do. Don't worry, my prince. I appreciate your concern, but it's just a minor thing. I'll be fine. Thank the gods you came back on time and rescued me. Who knows what would have happened to me? I was no longer scared of death in your pain, but I don't know what changed that to your soul. Maybe you found a reason to be the game. Yes, I could be the reason. You ask me. Um, there's something I want to tell you. I was having a discussion with my dad yesterday about the thing he's forcing me to hide. And when I told him I can't walk, he said I should leave the palace and return to New York. Said that. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, I'll be living for you as a man. Why didn't I stop him from believing God? Could it be I'm in love with him? No, it's better I don't think in that direction. I don't want him to go. How can I not see him again? God, this is unfair. Should have told him how I feel about him. He deserves to know even before he left. Who am I to say such things to him? Just when I thought I'm no longer lonely. What an unfair life. Why are the gods delaying my persecution? What am I still doing alive? What? Oh God, please comfort my soul. Okay. 
for everything I did to you, in as much as you wronged me. But as a woman, I need to ensure peace between myself and my husband. Please, I want you to forgive me. I need us to be together again, please. I'm here. Uh, 
my prince, um, we were trailing on you. Trailing me? How dare you? My prince, yes. we want to know where you are. In case of father, the king threatens us. And did you see anything? No, my, my prince. prince. Are you sure? Yes, yes my, my prince. prince. Now listen. Not on your life would you tell my father about this place. And if he locates me, yes. And if he locates me to this place, you will suffer. Did you hear me? Yes, my prince. I'm getting to the car. Let's go back to the palace. Your meal is served. <laughs> Since when did you start cooking? Okay, darling. I will give you an answer to that. But first, come. Come, come. Mm -hmm. Come, come. come. Mm -hmm. You know, darling. I told you that I am now a changed person. But you didn't want to believe me. And the change extends to cooking by yourself? Okay. You know, when I left the castle, I said to myself, Tracy, if this marriage has to work, I mean, you need to put in extra effort. That is, taking good care of you. And so I, I decided to put this together for you. I, I'm not a good cook. A good one, perfect. And, and the good thing is, I actually asked the maidens to leave the kitchen. I prepared this myself, solely by myself. That's nice. <laughs> I, I'm sure when you have this meal, my goodness, you will be yearning for more. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me let you have some taste, OK? All right. <laughs> mm. You like the aroma, don't you? <laughs> oh, nice man. You will love it when you have it. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. No, you should have some more, it's quite tasteful. No, that's you know? okay, that's okay. Oh, okay. That's okay, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I'll just let you enjoy your meal. I mean, watch you while you eat. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. <clears throat> Tastes good, right? <laughs> Right. 
Hey, Papa. This is not the type of woman. I want to marry you. I want to marry you. Papa, because no rap no matter no more. Can't you tell me what la la you na ya give me? I'm not going to marry again. I was in a bad fuss. She they piss me off. Hey, Papa, this is not the type of woman. Can I have your attention? I'm listening. Pressing the phone while listening to me is an act of disrespect. Excuse me. My ears are not stopped. I can hear you very well. Just go on with what you have to say. You know what? Forget it. Fire. I just want to receive this fire. 
prayer. Receive this fire and receive this prayer. May Jesus give you some sense to know that I am the only one for you. My son told me that you gave him food that had more pepper in it, but very little food. Um, my king, I didn't know I added too much pepper to the food. But then I apologized. I said I was sorry. It does not call for apology. No, it does not. This is sheer callousness. Rather than give him pepper instead of food, you should have called the maids and asked them to prepare the food. That's it. Do you want to send my son to the hospital? Oh, no, no, my king, no. And I'm very sorry. Oh, my king. Your son is being very unfriendly to me. And I don't know why. Well, both of you share the same room. My king, you do not understand. Yes, we share the same room. But we hardly communicate. He seldom stays at home. And then he completely avoids me like he has been doing. Well, if he's avoiding you, then there must be a, a reason. Yes, it has to be for a reason, and it's for you to find out. Okay? Listen, both of you are young, and you are the woman here. Open up to him. Find a solution to this problem. Yes, you may leave. She's not my type, uh, and, and she, she can, can never, never be my type, of Papa. Because no rap no matter no more. Can't you tell me what la la you na ya gebi? I'm not going to marry again. I was in a bad fuss. She did piss me off. Hey, oh, Papa. This is not the type of woman. I want to but I have God Almighty. This is destiny. Oh, if I should go for the world, you see more. If I should go down to the world, this is destiny. This is destiny. From another world. Oh! <laughs>
lazy parasites. Who sent for you? Get out! I said leave this place! Presentation is a fact. Uh, it's a norm that at the 40th anniversary of the prince, he's going to do a selection. Well, not really a selection. I mean, present a bride. So, everybody's worried. Who is he going to present? You know, who is the bride? <laughs> Now I ask you, who do you think everybody knows he's going to present? Who? Well? My prince, you're looking very different and cute. I've never seen you dressed this way before. Well, that's because I didn't come out today to hunt. I came to tell you that I'll be making a choice of my bride tomorrow. And I may not come back to this forest for a very long time. 
So I just came to be here for a while. Are you okay? Um, yes. Congratulations. I wish you good luck. about this immediately. Hmm. I just spoke with the king. He said in order to spike up tomorrow's ceremony that we're going to be at one that day. Oh, oh this is a really good news. I'm so happy. I can't wait to be my pleasure is now. Why was you yourself since I'm gonna be the choice one more? Please say we're going to something else. Who is going to be true? This one more. <laughs> Alika like you. Oh as if people have known more how the prince has been admiring me lately. Well, well, well. Shush, move. Move, move. I heard everything you all have been saying. <laughs> you want the prince, isn't it? Now on your knees, all of you. I mean, go down on your knees. Riff raff, raccoons! You want the prince to pick one of you. <laughs> well, come tomorrow. I do not want to see any of these ugly faces there. I mean, I don't want to look for any of you throwing flowers at my feet. Is that clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Oh, shut up. You would say yes, your highness. Yes, yes your highness. highness. Hush, puppies. You all think I'm not royalty yet, isn't it? <laughs> well, let's wait for the presentation tomorrow. I mean, when I will be presented. I will deal with all of you. I mean, one after the other. Fools. You want the prince, isn't it? All of you, palace puppies. Now, back like puppies that you are. agreeing to settle down. Yes. <laughs> By this time tomorrow, you, you are already with your bride. And you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You see, I love the combination of you and Chief Osadebe's daughter. The wealthiest man in Asia, my land. See, this is, this is royalty attracting so much money. And you think I'm marrying her because of her father's wealth? My prince, it is part of the union. Her father business relationship with your father business will become very strong. She's not my type, uh, and, and she, she can, can never, never be my type, type of papa. Because no rap, no my girl. Oh my goodness. <sighs> so done. You're going to choose me. I'm all the beehive. Of pretty village girls? That's what the tradition says. Oh, oh. <laughs> so tell me, darling. <clears throat> what do you want me to wear tomorrow? I mean, how do you want me to appear for you? I can make a choice of apparel for you. Yeah. Oh. Just wear whatever you want. It's up to you. Always sunny and unfriendly. Making a choice for me wouldn't hurt, darling. Anyway, I'm just putting my legs. By the way, darling, I know what to wear exactly. My goodness, 
If you see me tomorrow, jeez, darling, you want to eat me like a cupcake? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so... Yeah, I remember. I have to go to the laundry. I need to check my dress. <laughs> oh. Happy today because today is a day of joy. Yes. A day of joy in Isadaland. Today is a day of joy in the royal household of Isadaland. Oh, yes. oh, yes. At this occasion, my only son, the Prince of Isadaland, the heir to the throne of his other land is going to present his one and only bride. <laughs> Good. Good. My people of his other land, let us welcome the beauties and maidens of his other land. <laughs>
I'm relieving the Zada.
Igwe. I kill them. Huh? I kill my brother. Hey. 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 That's because of his hey. You hey. Hey. killed her father. Hey. 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 anything come in between our friendship but your stupid song spoiled everything by embarrassing me and my daughter in the public and you were there watching were you not watching um uh, maybe you may not believe it but i never knew that this whole thing See, my son never gave me any indication, no hint that this thing would end up this way. I, in fact, I feel devastated. I, I, I feel it's so, so, so disappointing. I am so annoyed. You see, if your son did not like my daughter, he should have sent her to me and not to use and dump her. You will hear from me. You um, will. Um, see, Mr. Debe, I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you this. I told you, I'm repeating it again. I never knew that things would go this way. Now, listen. Oh, my 
son Jones was banished from this land. Father, can we just leave? So right now as it stands, not minding what transpired today, it might still not stand. Your guess is as good as mine. Your son slapped my ego and me in the face and I will never forget that. I will not forget that! You will never break my daughter's heart. But you allowed your son break the heart of my daughter. You will hear from me. You will definitely hear from me. Don't allow this issue to snowball that. You this our friendship and sort this thing out. Tell me. I valued our friendship more. But your stupid son spoiled everything. He must suffer for the humiliation he has given to me and my family. Period. This is this. If I took a day, this is the
Another one.